Okay, so this will be essentially the uh, the first tutorial I ever create. Um, if it's any good, it'll end up on the internet. Uh, <laughs> if it's a lot of rubbish, I'll delete it. Um, so as you can see, I've got a model loaded in with no material. Um, so this first tutorial is going to be a cell shader. Uh, it's nice and easy. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so I've got the content browser. Uh, as you can see, I've got my mesh loaded in, and this is the material I've got on it at the minute. Just so you can see the normals. Uh, it's the default horrible white and blue square, but it does the job. Well, it doesn't, but we'll fix that. Um, and as you can see, I've imported my normal map. I've got compression no alpha, and to make it smooth, because it's quite a big model, I've got normal map uncompressed turned on. Um, on top of that, uh, actually, I think that's it. Yep. Um, okay, let's get started then. Um, first of all, you're going to right click new material, and I'm going to name this. Uh, Cell shader toot, I guess. Okay. Okay, so there's there's many stages um to a cell shader. Uh this is gonna be custom lighting burst. Uh so I'm gonna throw a bit of maths in there, three goes off. Um so the way that uh we start with Pretty much every light model I've come across is with a Lambert, uh, which is the simplest um, light model we can create in the UDK. Uh, but first, let's set up our material editor to allow us to do this. Uh, we want to down here it says material. We we'll change that to MLM underscore custom. Uh, that makes it custom lighting, which I can have a thing for. Um, okay. Uh, just get rid of the function library, we don't need it. Uh, let's turn on preview so you guys can see it. So you can see it's completely black at the minute. If I change that back to Fong, which is still a bit black. Uh, it's completely black because there's nothing plugged into it at the minute. And everything we're going to do is going to go through uh, this node here, custom line. Um, so as, as I said, it goes, we start with a Lambert. Uh, and the way we do that is we get a light vector. Let's check it in. Uh, we need our normal vector, um, which in this case is our normal map. However, you can just use a solid blue if you don't have a normal map. Just just does, does the job just as well. Um, so let me just grab the normal map. Um, now what this does, this samples the angle that the light hits the object and it samples the uh, surface normals of the object and we can calculate lighting between those uh, which is basically calculating the difference between the two angles uh, which gives us the bounce of the light going back which eliminates the object so what we're going to do is simply use a dot product, which is what we use in vector maths to uh, calculate the difference between the two. Um, and if we plug this into custom lighting, you see already uh, we we have a lighting model. That that's a Lambert. Um, Okay, so the next step uh, we are going to do is we're going to do a bit of simple rounding. Uh, there's two nodes in this in UDK to do this. Uh, we use seal to round up, and we use a uh, floor to round down. Um, and the 
important thing to remember within the UDK is that everything works between 0 and 1. Uh, in Photoshop, uh, things don't work between 0 and 1, they work between 0 and 255, which is how you get your colours and whatnot. Um, but in UDK, everything's 0 and 1. I like to think of it as percentages, just to get my head around it. Um, so, what Seal and Floyd do is they will round to the nearest whole number. But since we're working uh, between 0 and 1, that's kind of a problem. See, we want to make some steps, we want to clamp multiple layers almost of shading. Um, so, we need to crank up our Lambert uh, to be over 1 so that we can then round it which will clamp it at these steps um, so what I'm going to do actually this first before we do that uh, very important thing my housemate has um, set the fire alarm off um, oh it stopped we'll carry on, fuck it uh, we need to normalize these because these might not be, be between 0 and 1. Uh, Normalize will make sure that they are. It basically normalize um, sets the highest value to 1 and the lowest value to 0. Uh, if we don't do this, we might get some problems there. So just, just normalize your vectors, there's no harm in it. Um, so what we want to do now is we want to uh, multiply that. I've typed it in, it's M and click. Um, we want to multiply this by a constant. doesn't matter which type of constant you use, there's loads in there. Uh, I'm going to use a... I'm not even going to use one, I'm going to use a vector parameter because if you instance this, you can then change this. Actually, no, it's not a vector parameter one. I always get confused between the different ones. It's a... I can't remember. It, I'm just going to use a one constant. It doesn't matter. That's one and click. Uh, and I'm going to use three. Three's nice for cell shaders. Oh, quick save there. Uh, yeah, three's nice for... Uh, Cell shaders, uh, you usually get like three layers. You can do more, you can do less. I'll show you what happens there. Um, and it doesn't really matter which one of these you use, uh, you'll get slightly different results. I'm going to use seal for the minute. Okay, so if I plug this in now, you'll see it's glowing. <coughs> Sorry. Um, and this is because, well, we're powering it all at one. Uh, so it's blooming. Uh, so to get it back below one, which will make it nice and do what we actually want to do, we need to simply divide it by three because it's the maximum it can be is three. Maximum here it can be is one. Uh, here is one. Um, maximum here it can be is three. Uh, even though it's it's sealed, the maximum it can be is three. So the highest level here is coming out at three. Uh, which is making it bloom because everything works between 0 and 1 so yeah we just divide it which is D and click uh, we just divide it by the same constant that we have here and plug that in and you'll see it's working it's working to a reasonable level um, I'll show you what uh, floor does. It should just make things a bit darker because it'll be rounding them down to the nearest hole rather than rounding them up. Yeah, see? So this is pretty much black. Um, seal, I don't know. I haven't really decided which one I like more. Uh, there probably is one that you're supposed to use. I don't know, to be honest. Um, I'm going to leave it with seal. just gives us that extra, extra one. Um, and if we change this number, you'll see. 
Okay, so if we change this number, um, well it's set to 10, it's because the video crashed. Um, I'll set it back to 3 so you guys can see. Um, we've got 3 layers. If I set this to 10, you can see we've got 10 layers. Uh, it's a lot more smooth, so it's not really what we want. We want, we want less layers. Uh, so 3 is good. I like 3. Maybe 4 pushing it. Um, I don't know, it's personal preference really. Uh, okay, so that's how I, so I showed it. Next thing we want to do is add a bit of colour. Um, I don't actually have a block colour texture for my robot. Um, so I'm just going to use a block colour. Um, <coughs> but ideally you want a texture that is block colours. Um, you don't want too much detail on cell shaders because you won't get the effect that you're looking for. Uh, so to do that we basically use all this as a mask um, and uh, that's the cell shaded part. That's the hard part done. So all we need to do is use this as a mask and multiply in a colour. So I'm going to multiply in a vector. I'm going to use a vector this time, honest. Because uh, it gives me the colour wheel. Though in UDK this is really laggy. So it's not the video lagging. It's 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 the UDK actually lagging. Um, I'm going to do red. I like red. Um, red, that's near enough, it's more of an orange. I'll do. Uh, click that, you see it's orange now. Um, and then we're going to plug that into custom line. And now we have a cell shared. Um, the only thing we would want to do to this is change this with a texture parameter um, 2D texture parameter which is uh, oh, not one of them Te texture sample sorry uh, which is the same as what we're using it's for a normal map to plug a texture in uh, texture 2D sample parameter that I used before that's if you're instance in it in this case we're not so it doesn't matter um, so you'd plug a diffuse uh, which would be block color, uh, maybe a bit of AO, I don't know. Um, and you plug that into there. If I do this now, it would just error. Yeah. Um, so I'm using this instead of a texture sample. Okay, so that's a, a very, very basic cell shader. Uh, let's put it on the model. Uh, this is my model. It's um, a mech from <coughs> the original Xbox title, Phantom Crash. Uh, I don't think anyone's ever played it, but I did and it was good. Um, <laughs> so I decided I'd make a HD one. That's what I've been working on for Unit. Um, so I'm going to apply my. Oh, just make sure I've got that selected. Um, I'm going to apply my associator. And you can see it updates. It's pink because it's selected. Um, rotate it. The lights in the same position, but you can see that those the cells flying. Um, okay, so look at it in the world. Let's get rid of that. We don't need that. Okay. Um, you see it's orange. And it's got cells. Hooray! Um, now the reason this is actually working is because that light up there, which is this light in this box, is dynamic. Um, if you're going to use custom lighting, you need dynamic lights. Um, if you don't need how now to do that, I'll quickly show you. Uh, I'll then click for a light in here. And then F4, I can't see my keyboard, but F4, um, light, light component. Uh, one of these. 
I can never remember. I just dropped them all down. Uh, line channels. And turn dynamic on. And you want to turn modular to normal. And then that's actually a, a dynamic light. If I turn dynamic shadows on, you see it's, it's affecting it and it's casting it's casting dynamic shadows down here. Um, if I turn dynamic shadows off, it won't. Or shouldn't do, but it's going to do anyway. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that's that's how you get it working. Um, in game, you need dynamic lights. Um, so yeah, I believe that, that made it. this has been a, a, a very brief introduction to uh, custom lighting in UDK with a cell shader. Um, I might make some more. I don't know. It's been fun, I guess. I can't sleep, so this was my night. Um, I'll put some more information on my website uh, for like a written version of this tutorial, so you should check that out. I'll put a link in the description, I guess. Um, yeah, cheers. Blue out.